Draw a Venn diagram and use the given information to fill in the number of elements in each region. The number of elements in A is 19, the number in B is 13, the number in A union B is 25, and the number in A complement is 11. So the first thing you have to do is draw the correct Venn diagram. Do you want this to be a two-set Venn diagram or a three-set Venn diagram? Two-set Venn diagram. So I'm going to draw my rectangle, and then I'm going to put in two circles. Draw this at home if you're while you're watching it'll help you to uh process your brain to process the information better if you're actively drawing it so i really encourage you to do that so here's a and here's b okay and i'm also going to label the regions so just so that you and i can talk about it here's the first error to avoid a lot of times people think, oh, the number of elements in A is 19. So I'm going to write a 19 here. What's wrong with that? Yeah, in fact, A is both of these regions. It could be that there's one in region two and 18 in region three, or it could be there's zero in region two and 19 in region three. I just don't know. You have to start with whatever information they give you that's describing exactly one region and work from there. So what I recommend is that you go through the facts that you're given, write them down. Each one is a piece of a puzzle. You go through and you identify which region or regions they're talking about. For example, region uh, set A, the number of elements in set A is referring to regions two and three. The number of elements in set B, that's talking about regions three and four. A union B is which regions? Two, three, and four. That's right, because it's a union, so we're putting them together. And what about A complement? One and four. Okay. Oh, darn, we've got a, this, we have a problem because this is one of the more challenging ones because notice that all of these are describing more than one region. And I really need to know how many is in just one region. Whenever this happens to you, most likely they want you to use something called the cardinal number formula. The cardinal number formula says that the number of elements that are in A union B is going to be equal to the number that are in A plus the number that are in B minus the number that are in their overlap. Because when you count the number in A and the number in B, you end up counting what's in their overlap twice. So you have to subtract off the extra. We know the number in A union B is 25. The number in A is 19. And the number in B is 13. We just don't know the number in A intersect B. So if 25 is equal to 32 minus the number in A intersect B, how many must be in A intersect B? What number do we have to subtract from 32 to get 25? 25 equals 32. 32 minus what? Seven. Seven. 32 minus seven would give you 25, wouldn't it? So what that tells me is that A intersect B had to have seven elements in it. So I'm going to write that down as an extra fact that I just figured out here. The number of elements in A intersect B is seven. This is referring to the region three. It's describing just one region. So that's good because now I can put on my diagram the number seven and I can cross this fact off my list. Now we're going to continue from there. Looking through the facts that we know, for example, we know that set A has 19 elements. That is talking about regions two and three, right? All together, there are 19. We just figured out that in region three, there were seven. So how does that help me figure out how many are in region two? If there are 19 all together in set A, and we know that seven of them are in region three, how many must be in region two? Very good, there are 12, why? 19 in all of set A minus the seven we've already placed leaves 12 that are in region two. Do you see where I'm getting that one from? Okay, so then I've used that fact and I'm gonna cross it off my list. Now let's look at set B that has 13 in it. How does that help us? What can we figure, which region can we figure out based on the fact that 
Set B has region four. That's right, region Roman numeral four. We know that the whole set B has 13 in it. Seven of them were in region three, so the rest have to be in region four. So 13 minus seven leaves six that are in region four. Then we can cross that off our list. We actually already used A union B when we did the cardinal number formula. So I'm gonna cross that one off as well. We've used that as well. And now the last thing should give us the information that we need for region one. So does A complement include region one? Yes. It says that there are 11 elements between split between region one and region four. There are 11. A complement is everything outside of A, right? That means that there are 11 altogether in regions one and four, the yellow regions. Six of them have already been placed in region four. So how many are left for region one? So you take 11 minus six and you get five and we're done. We have 12 in region two, seven in region three, six in region four and five in region one. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. That will help other students to find the video.